I've done a lot in my yard this year and spruced up around the outside of my house, and I've gotten every room in my house decorated except for my front guest bathroom. It has stayed like a big white box. There's nothing to it. I haven't done anything in there. It's just plain walls. It's very utilitarian, which actually that's kind of how it's used. It's just a very utilitarian space. I have a little navy towel on my counter, a navy one's in the cabinet, and then I just have a little bottle of soap, and that's it. I haven't done anything else with this bathroom because actually, as I said, it's utilitarian. This is where Richard decided that he wanted to bathe all the time. I actually bought this trailer because of the shower in the master bathroom. I thought it would work out great for bathing him and him being able to get in and out of it. Well, guess what? He wants to bathe in this bathroom. So this is what it's become. It's just a place that I take him to bathe. It's the bathroom that he uses because it's convenient off the den, and it hasn't ever had anything done to it. So it's just stayed this kind of white box. And I don't know why. Actually, I kind of found it peaceful because I was really trying to minimalize my house and not decorate with a whole lot of stuff. I didn't want a lot of stuff everywhere. But you get to the point where you need something. And though this has cabinet space and everything, it's taken up. I don't really have any extra room for things in here. So my toilet paper has ended up on the floor and there's no hanger for it or anything. So I want to get a solution to that. And then I want to put a little artwork above the commode. And to that end, let me show you what I decided to do and what I figured out. And I think it's gonna work out great. For the toilet paper, I went to Marshall's in Macomb, Mississippi, and I found this little toilet paper holder. Y'all, I don't shop much. These may have been out for years, but I've never seen one. It holds four rolls of toilet paper, and then the top part, you stick a roll on like a little toilet paper holder. So that's perfect. Five rolls in here will be fine. I can always reload it from the, my master bedroom stash, but five rolls to store in here will be fine. For the artwork above my commode, I made a decision. This is what I did. I went to Walmart, and I went for a canvas to do a painting, which I'm going to tell you about in a minute. But what I ended up buying was a kind of a driftwoody looking board. It's slats, board slats. The front slats are just attached to these two boards in the back. They're just kind of stapled on. So that's how it's attached. It's not very thick or anything, but I liked it. I just really, really liked it. And I can put the hanger on the back. It didn't come with one, but I can put the hanger. I can put some little screws up here and I have picture framing wire that I can put across it. So I can put the hanger, that's not a big deal. But what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna help me out by giving this uh, artwork that I'm gonna create some character without me having to paint this big, huge background or paint a whole canvas plus wrap around the sides of a canvas. I'm just gonna paint something towards the center of this because it already has so much character to it. The wood grain, it's been distressed. It's got little wood knots in it here, there, and yonder. And I think it's beautiful kind of on its own. It's gonna give some depth, some texture, and some color without anything, but I'm gonna add something in the middle. Let me tell you about it. My first instinct was just to go buy me something, just go buy a cute little picture. Um, there's some places near me. I probably could find a Hobby Lobby or a Kirkland's or something like that and go buy something. And that would be the easiest thing because we do have this little birthday party coming up on the 17th. And I really didn't want to get bogged down with creating my own art. So I probably was just going to go buy something. And then I went to bed that night. And I have a big problem <laughs> when I go to bed sometimes. That's when my brain just starts firing off on all pistons. You know, I, I really want to go to bed and just relax and lay down and conk out. If I could just make myself conk out really fast, that would be ideal. But what happens is that's when, when the quietness comes, that's when all my creative ideas start for the next day, for videos, for cooking, for canning or whatever. That's when it all starts. So I was laying in bed and I thought, you know, I could paint me a picture. I have not painted in about four or five years, but I, I could do it. And so I thought, well, 
what could I paint? You know, um, what? I, I just really didn't know what. But I had this thing of, at my other house. We lived on a lake. We had geese coming in all the time. We had deer coming around all the time. So I had decided that everything in my house was pretty much going to be artwork that reflected where we lived. So I had little statues of a deer in my front bathroom. I had a picture of an alligator in my front bathroom. We didn't have any alligators in our pond, but it, it was still a beautiful painting that a local artist had done and it just kind of fit our environment of having that lake out there. So I had an alligator there. I painted a, a goose flying over like water. I can't explain it, but I kind of made the water look like it was reflecting in the daytime and this goose was flying over the water. And that's what I put over the bed in the master bedroom. And then I painted a painting of the three fish that we used to stock our pond. A copper nose bluegill, a threadfin shad, which was a feeder fish, and then the Florida largemouth bass. So I had painted a painting with all those fish on it that we had hanging at, at our house. And so if anybody asked about it, I could tell them that's the fish out in our pond. So I thought to myself, well, what is here? You know, should I paint trees or something? And I've really never painted a whole lot of trees. So that kind of intimidated me. And then I got to thinking, I'm like, you know, we have birds. I have that Merlin bird app and I still use it a lot. I've gotten used to the birds that are here and I kind of can recognize them pretty good. So I don't use it a lot, but I do pull it out sometimes. I just pull it out because I'm curious as to which particular sound I'm hearing at that moment. And I can tell you that if we were having a contest to see the most prevalent birds at this property that we live on now, it would be the crows. <laughs> now, you know, I love crows. When I hear them, it harkens me back to the times of my grandparents and coming up to this area to see my great-grandmother's house and to spend time up here on the weekends. But I don't know if I want a picture of a crow hanging in my bathroom. I just don't think I do. Or it would be blue jays. Blue jays are everywhere around here. Sometimes they get so loud and it's like they're fighting with each other. And I just want to say, shut up when I'm working on something. But I'm just kidding. I love them. I love hearing them. I love how excited they are when they see a snake or when there's just something going on. So I decided I think I'm going to paint a blue jay for that bathroom. It'll match my towels. It'll match the muted tones. That's what I'm going to go for. So that's what I decided to do. I'm going to do a picture, if I can, if it comes out, I hope it does, of that last shot there of the blue jay in the trees, in the brush. My husband is outside right now riding the golf cart. I have probably 30, 40 minutes, hopefully, in here by myself. And I'm going to try to draw that bird here in the middle, and then the sticks will be coming kind of off of it. And I don't have to put tons of detail in the background. I can just kind of focus on the bird and a few little branches, just a little bit more detail. I hope it works. I hope it does. This is not a video that's per se homesteading, gardening, or anything like that. But the reason I'm featuring it, and I'll try to show you little steps that I'm going on with this thing. It's not an art tutorial either. What I'm trying to do is show you kind of what I have to do sometimes just to kind of back away from all the work, back away from kind of my responsibilities and find something that I can do to relax my mind, to bring me back to feeling peaceful. I, I Sometimes I get a little too, uh, too tired. <laughs> um, it's not that I'm a slave person or anything. I, you know, our, our life is good and I can pace my life pretty much how I want these days. I can wake up when I want, I can go to bed when I want. Um, everything's good. But just the, um, kind of gets monotonous sometimes, kind of the chores, the tasks that I have to do kind of get monotonous sometimes. And I try to break that up in different ways. We go on little rides and we do stuff like that. We, um, you know, I'll go and shop a little bit every now and then and, and try to just kind of, um, get things I need and feel like I'm taking care of my house and all that gives me a lot of joy. 
but sometimes I need to do things that are just me. <laughs> I rarely get time for just me. Uh, I never get time for just me, I'll be honest with you. I went out to eat with a really good friend of mine last November of 2022. She and I went to a Greek restaurant. That's the only time I've been anywhere with a friend in three years. <laughs> uh, it's it's just the way it is. That's our life now. I don't get, um, I, people will tell me, some of my really good friends will say, well, just call me whenever you can. Let's go eat lunch. Let's go, well, I'd love to just sit and talk and everything. And I can't really do things like that. Um, I have not been able to. I'm fixing to try to carve out more time to do things like that, but I just have not been able to. So I think um, I, I have been craving lately just a little bit of escapism and trying to do little things that just center my mind on something. And art will do that. When you think of what you want to paint, it almost, and, and when you can visualize it in its end result on the canvas, it almost just kind of takes over in you and you have to get it out. <laughs> Until you get that painting kind of out of you and onto the canvas, it kind of consumes you. But that process of getting it out of you and onto the canvas or whatever you're painting on, I'm painting on a board this time, but whatever you're painting on, the process helps you to just kind of detach because you have to focus. I'm gonna have to focus a whole lot on my drawing or I'm gonna end up with a bunch of erase marks on here and everything and it's just gonna get chaotic and I'm not gonna have confidence that I'm painting this bird like in a proportion that it needs to be painted. So I'm gonna kind of release for a little while. Uh, I'm fixing to turn the camera off and quit filming and I'm just gonna start drawing while he's outside doing his thing. And then probably after supper tonight, um, if I'm not finished drawing, I'll get back into it and finish drawing. And then I'll start putting some base colors on. And painting is not a quick thing for me. I can't do it quick. I kind of have to think as I go and it starts looking more and more real as I back away from it and kind of look at it. But that's okay, that's that process. That's the process of detaching your mind from everything else going on. If you're really into doing something like this, uh, he can have the TV on whatever he wants tonight and it's not gonna bother me. I'm gonna be focused. As long as nobody needs me for a little while, as long as I don't have to get up and do things, as long as kind of my house is clean and things are done, which for me is something I have to have before I sit down to do anything like bill paying or, or art or going over things, I have to kind of have the house neat so that I can focus on that, balancing your checkbook, stuff like that. Once I get the house done is when I sit down to do stuff like that. So I won't really do more on this tonight. I won't open these paints. I won't pull all this out until the kitchen's cleaned after supper and I've kind of detached myself for a little while and then I come up I come over here and I, I detach myself and I just say don't anybody need me and you know take care of yourselves do the best you can for a little while mom's gonna paint Lainey's gonna paint and I may or may not put any paint on this until tomorrow night it might be tomorrow night before I really get the time I'm not gonna force it I'm not gonna ignore things. I'm not gonna sit here in my pajamas half a day tomorrow to do this, but I will get to it. And it's gonna help me to kind of just feel like I did something for myself for a change. I don't, I don't wanna whine and complain, but I don't get any time really to myself hardly ever, ever. I went to eat with my friend in November of 2022 and I've had three occasions since then to be by myself for a few hours, get in my car and go somewhere by myself. And all three of those occasions have been funerals. My best friend, our friend that took his life, and then my friend that died this summer. Those are the three occasions this past year that I've had to myself to get in the car and go somewhere and interact with other people and then come back home. And that's not enough. <laughs> that's not enough. Um, so getting back into painting maybe, maybe a good therapy for me. Getting back into just trying to find some things that are, are just for me. Um, I can do that without being selfish. I can do that without ignoring anything that I need to take care of around here. I can do that 
with um, not feeling like I'm leaving Richard out because there's things that he likes to do, like watching ball games that don't really involve me. I'm home, I'm around, I'm working while he's watching the ball games, but that's his thing. You know, he loves to watch the Saints. He loves to watch LSU. And that's, and that's a lot of men, that's their thing. A lot of men hunt and all, he can't do all that, but he loves to watch the ball games. And so I need to, um, rather than just, just my gardening, which has been nice, but um, I need to find some other things to kind of take me away. <laughs> and so this is my Calgon moment right now. And this is why it's so important to me to paint this, to put in the bathroom. It'll, if it comes out good, I hope it will, it'll bring me joy when I'm going in there to clean or to bathe them or do anything. I'll, it's a little color in there. It's still gonna be muted in there and that's okay. I don't wanna put all kind of stuff in there. We don't need shower curtains or anything. That's just in my way. I don't want to add a bunch of jumble of stuff. I just kind of want something simple on the wall with a nice towel and some soaps and that's it. And this will fulfill that for me. It'll make me feel good when I go in there. It'll make me feel like that room is beautiful now, but it'll also kind of um, maybe be the start to something that can give me an outlet for myself. And I think everybody needs to think about that. Your lives may be completely different. You're already doing things. You, you know, you've got your outlet. You might have a, a business or an entrepreneur project you're working on. You might just throw yourself into your farm animals, your canning, whatever you're doing. Fantastic, <laughs> that's fantastic. Find lots of little ways. I love to can and all too. I love to do all that, but um, there sometimes just needs to be something that's that's just for you. I do a lot of my canning. I love to can, but I do it with feeding others in mind, with food preparation in mind for in case of emergencies. A lot of times when I'm canning, I've got all that going in my mind too. This is not this is different. This is me kind of channeling those blue jays I hear all the time out there and knowing they're outside on my property and kind of bringing that joy of hearing them outside into my house and just giving me an outlet for myself a little bit until I can get to some type of point to where I can kind of go and do sometimes for myself with friends and um and enjoy other things you know shopping trips and girl outings and antiquing and things like that which I have not been able to do in three years so anyway that's what I'm gonna get going. I'll kind of show you little steps. <laughs> I hope they look okay. Uh, it might not look like much at first, but as the steps go on, hopefully it'll come alive. I'm gonna kind of just pray myself through this and we'll see what happens. I brought this outside because there's so many shadows when you're trying to film things inside because of lighting. But basically, I'm just gonna zoom in. That's just a rough sketch of my bird in the middle of some branches. You're kind of seeing how it's laid out on the board. So this is my starting point, and I'm gonna see what else I can kind of get done this evening. You never can tell. One thing I like to do when I start painting anything is I like to kind of block in colors behind whatever I'm gonna be painting, if it works out that way. And in this case, it does. For the tree branches, I just blocked in black. The tree branches are not going to look black. They're going to have grays and a lot of whites on it and everything. But I just put the black to kind of make a smooth base behind it. And then the bird is going to be blues and different things. But I put the white behind it because it is going to be predominantly white and its little feathers and its belly and stuff. So I went ahead and blocked those colors in. What it does is gives you a smooth base to work on when you're painting because this is a pretty rough surface. And uh, it just kind of smooths it out a little bit to where when you're adding those other colors and those other details, they have a little bit smoother surface to go on. Well, I stayed up to 1230 last night. I made some progress. I got a good bit of detailing on my branches. They're not exactly where I want them to be, but I did get in a good direction with them. Let me just say that. But I started running into a little bit of trouble because I messed up when I was drawing my bird. When I was drawing the bird, I made his face too round. This part right here was actually a branch in the background that I was looking at, and I thought it was the edge of the bird, but it wasn't. His head needs to be different, and his beak, of course, needs to be a little smaller. So I'm gonna have to mix paint that kind of matches the color of this board and go in and kind of touch up those things. 
and correct them. That's the thing with painting on this kind of medium on this board is it's harder than it is on a canvas to correct mistakes because on a canvas, I would have a background color and probably have it laying there mixed or, you know, could somehow fudge it on a canvas, but it's harder to do that on this, but I'm going to try to get that done tonight. I'm cooking supper now. And after I eat supper, clean the kitchen and all that stuff, I'm going to sit down and see if I can get back in my zone tonight and get a lot more progress made on this bird. Well, my bathroom is complete. It's done. And my navy towels, of course, or my color to kind of match things with. I got my little toilet paper roll holder like I showed you. And I got the painting finished. It's a little bit darker right now because I sprayed some varnish on it and it hasn't completely dried, but I was ready to put it up. So I put the hanger on the back and everything and I hung it and I'm loving it. It's, uh, it's drying slowly. It'll be completely dry in a little while, but it came out really good. I showed it to Richard because this is the bathroom he uses all the time. And he was like, oh, that's cool. You know, so I, I appreciate that he liked it. It makes me happy. It reminds me of what's outside and what's beautiful at our house and those birds that I hear all the time. And so I'm pleased with how it came out. It felt so good to get this accomplished. It's something I kind of needed to do just to kind of carve out a few hours for myself, just to kind of zone out a little bit and just focus on this and just take my mind off of everything. <laughs> really, when you're painting, you kind of just have to focus on what you're doing, every little detail. So I was happy that, to get this done and to have that time. But it's on to new things now. It's supposed to be raining tomorrow, so I think I'm gonna do some deep cleaning and get some closets cleaned out something else that I really need to do. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you take some time to do some things that make you happy, to make your life a little more beautiful, and to just have some enjoyment that you can just cherish. This is Lainey from Hilltop Home Place. Thank y'all so much for joining me, and please stay free and stay happy. Bye-bye.